Greetings and welcome to another edition of Track vs. Track. This is episode 2 of my Sweet 16 album face-off. If you missed the first episode, I took 8 of my favorite albums from 2 of my favorite bands. We took 8 Black Sabbath albums and we pitted them up against 8 Iron Maiden albums. And basically what we do is we take 8 of those albums by one group, kind of shuffle them up, take 8 of those albums by that other group, shuffle them up, and then we just kind of randomly grab and see which one is, you know, which one I prefer. At the end of each round, then we are left with half of what we started with. Um, in the last particular episode, we ended up with a lot more Sabbath albums than Iron Maiden, but I don't want to spoil uh, the, the ending for that, so please go and watch that. But this time we're going to do something, uh, we're going to do two different bands, also 8 albums. We're going to do Kiss versus Judas Priest. All right, so we're kind of sticking with that heavy metal vein. So the Judas Priest albums that I've selected are Sad Wings of Destiny, their second album, Sin After Sin, Stained Class, Killing Machine, that's four, five, we got British Steel. We skip a couple here and we go to um, uh, Screaming for Vengeance, Defenders of the Faith, and I threw in because I really didn't want to do Point of Entry and I didn't want to do Rock and Roll. I threw in Unleashed in the East. So those are the eight Sabbath albums. Obviously all great. Not just subjectively, I think. I think anybody would say those are the eight best uh, Priest albums. And, and I think people will agree that my Kiss selections are the eight best too. So for our first one, we got Kiss Alive. Dressed to Kill. I already got these ones kind of jumbled up. That's good. Uh, my third selection is Hotter Than Hell. Fourth selection, we have the debut. Fifth selection, we've got um, Destroyer. Uh, the sixth selection, we got Love Gun. And the seventh selection, Rock and Roll All Over. And then my eighth selection, and you notice I already had Kiss Alive in there, so you think maybe Kiss Alive 2? No. Ace Freely solo album with the Kiss logo. Hell yeah. So yeah, I'm going to put these two into different piles. I'm just going to kind of grab randomly, and we'll see uh, which one moves on to the um, Elite Eight. So we got 16 here. I'm gonna grab one from each pile. So for Priest, we got Sin After Sin. And for uh, Kiss, we have Rock and Roll All Over. Um, which band do I like better? Uh, that's, that's tough. Which one do I respect more? Priest, but man, I got a soft spot for Kiss. Rock and Roll All Over is a great album. Um, so is Sin After Sin, and you know what? I'm going to give it to Priest. So Sin After Sin moves on. Rock and Roll Over is out. All right, so now I'm going to grab into the Priest pile again and grab into the Kiss pile. And here we've got British Steel, and that's going up against Hotter Than Hell. So British Steel's got, you know, some of the big hits, of course, Breaking the Law, Living After Midnight. Um, Hotter Than Hell is my favorite Kiss album, so I'm going to give this one to Kiss. So... British Steel exits, and Higher Than Hell stays in the game. All right, grabbing back into the well here. We've got Killing Machine, or also known as um, Hellbent for Leather, and that's going up against Dressed to Kill. Dressed to Kill. Um, boy, this one's kind of hard. Hmm... I'm going to give it to Dressed to Kill. You may not agree with me, but that's okay. We can still be friends. All right, going back into the piles here for the priest and the uh, kiss. And we've got destroyer. That's going up against sad wings of destiny. Uh, this one's quite easy for me. Um, sad wings of destiny is my favorite priest album. I love destroyer, but I'm gonna go with the priest one there. So we got two to two. All right, here we go. Back at it. We've got Kiss Alive versus Screaming for Vengeance. Um, that's also pretty easy. This is just such a classic album. So many great songs. I do love Screaming for Vengeance, but Kiss Alive moves on. That might be hard to beat. That might be very hard to beat. All right, going back, we've got Stained Class, and that's going up against Love Gun. Hmm. I'm going to go Stained Class. Stained Class. Priest moves on. Kiss exits. All right. A couple more left, folks. We've got 
Defenders of the Fate versus Ace Freely. Um, also pretty easy. This is my favorite like Kiss album. It's not a Kiss album, but with the Kiss logo. Defenders of the Faith is classic, but this moves on. And this next one. Unleashed in the East versus the Kiss self-titled. Um, I'm going to give it to Priest. As much as I love this one, I feel like a lot of these songs are already kind of represented with the live. So um, Unleashed in the East moves on. Kiss self-titled exits. All right, so we got eight albums. That was pretty even. As a matter of fact... It's four to four. So here's what I can do, actually. I wasn't able to do this in the last episode because um, we had a lot more Maiden albums depart in the first round. So I'm just going to grab randomly here. Um, Unleashed in the East looks like I grabbed again versus Dressed to Kill. Um, I'm going to give that to Priest. So Kiss goes bye-bye. Then I've got... Um, Hotter Than Hell, and that's going up against uh, Sad Wings of Destiny. Um, dang, I got to say goodbye to Hotter Than Hell. Sad Wings moves on, so I got two priests. Um, sin After Sin, that's going up against Alive. Yeah, that's easy. Alive wins. And last two, I don't even need to close my eyes because I... And look at them. Stain Class versus Ace Freely. And this one's a toughie. Um, remember, it's not which one do I think is better, because I think this is the better album. But, I mean, this is hard to beat for me. So, all right. Boy, this is a really good matchup. So I've got two Kiss and two um, Priest albums. So I'm just going to kind of close. So this is the final four right here. Close my eyes and just grab them. What do we got here? We've got Unleashed in the East, and that's going up against Kiss Alive. Ooh, the live album squaring up against each other. Um, based on just sheer quantity, I'm going to give it to Kiss, but man, it's hard to beat that album. So one Kiss album is in, and then we've got Sad Wings of Destiny versus Ace Freely, and that's a toughie, um, but I know which one I'm going to pick. Um, I have to be sensible here. I, as much as I love this album, I this is the way superior album and you know what it's a better album so sad wings gets it all right so here is the final kiss alive versus sad wings of destiny which one do i like better which one do i find more enjoyment out of all right so on this on the priest album i mean pretty much everyone's a winner you know less tracks kiss alive i mean basically you get the best of the first three albums um yeah, Priest. Priest wins. I can't give it to Kiss Alive. I, as much as I, that's more like guilty pleasure love. This is just fantastic. So, overall, uh, Sad Wings won. Now, I don't know if, yeah, I don't know if any Kiss album could have beat this. Hotter Than Hell, maybe. I would have thought about it, but uh, yeah, this was probably destined to win in the end. So, uh, once again, thanks for watching another uh, Sweet 16 edition where I take. Uh, eight albums from two other bands. Uh, and since I already did Iron Maiden Black Sabbath, I could put one of those against Priest or Kiss. Uh, so I've got some movable parts in there. Of course, I've got lots of bands that I love that have eight albums that I could choose from. But um, yeah, there's, a, there's another one for you. Enjoy. Please subscribe, comment, like, all that stuff. Thank you for your support. Good day, good evening, and goodbye.